The 2010s at Wrights High School have been some of the most eventful years Wrights has ever experienced. Legends in both the classroom and on the field have passed through the halls during this time. Wrights' respected sports teams and band members have made a tremendous impact upon the school. In fact, Wrights has had many noteworthy accomplishments that have molded the school into what it has become today. Perhaps one of the biggest events that has happened to Wrights in the past decade has been the retirement of longtime principal Mrs. Christine Settle. She was the principal of Wrights for 26 years, which is over a quarter of the school's lifetime. She was replaced by the school's current principal, Beth Carnahan, in the fall of 2012. Other administrators that left the school in this decade were assistant principals Deborah Harrington and Jason Adams, who were replaced by Megan Baker and Farrell Bunner. Another change in staffing was the retirement of Mr. Bob Hammonds. He served as the school's librarian for 44 years, longer than any other staff member in the history of Wrights. Other staff members who retired after long careers at Wrights were Arthur Aidey and Norman Canisi. While some of the staff members were in themselves institutions at Wrights, another significant institution essential to the school has been the sports programs. Sports have always been an important part of Wrights' tradition. Over the last decade, Wrights has groomed some very accomplished athletes coached by dedicated coaches. A new era of Wrights football started in 2013 with the hiring of new football coach Andy Hape. He replaced Wrights football legend Tony Lewis, who led the team to victory for a state championship in 2009. Andy Hape's father, Bill Hape, was also a Wrights football coach from 1983 to 1990. This makes them the first father-son head coaching duo in Wrights' history. Since Andy, an All-State player, used to play for Wrights, he realized the high expectations that come with the job. The boys' basketball team in 2015 had one of the most exhilarating seasons the West Side has witnessed. The boys' team started out the season pummeling every team that stood in their way. As the season progressed, they really showed how well they could work together, especially offensively, to win by scoring 92 points on average. During the season, senior Jalen Sanford became the all-time leading scorer in Wright's history with 1,544 points. The team suffered two losses during the season, with one of them being the last regular game of the season to Southport, but that wasn't enough to knock the team's spirit. They mustered up enough willpower to push through sectionals and then secure a regional championship title. On the way home from their impressive win against Franklin Central, they heard about the passing of Logan Brown. Logan was a sophomore at Wrights and a football player and baseball player. He was killed by a drunk driver on University Parkway. Two other Wrights students in the car with Brown were severely injured, but they were able to pull through after many days and weeks in the hospital. This tragic event became a motivator for the boys' basketball team throughout semi-state and into the championship game when they finished their season second in the state. Lastly, in 2015, Wrights won sectional titles in all the major sporting events, including football, basketball, and baseball. A feat like this had not yet been accomplished in Wrights' history. Over the past decade, a select few students have become famous. Perhaps one of the most accomplished athletes in Wrights' history is Lily King. She swam for Wrights from 2011 to 2015. King went to state all four years of her high school career in swimming. In her senior year of swimming, she won both the 100-yard breaststroke and the 200-yard individual medley. She was also presented the Mental Attitude Award at the state meet for her accomplishments in and out of the classroom. In her time at Wrights, she maintained a 4.0 grade point average and was an outstanding swimmer, so it was no surprise when Indiana University offered her a full scholarship to swim on the team. At IU, she did a fantastic job throughout the first season and was even named Big Ten Swimmer of the Year. In addition to her very successful freshman year at IU, she qualified for the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio. All of her hard work paid off as she won two gold medals that summer. The first in the 100-meter breaststroke, beating her Russian rival Yulia Efimova. Her second gold was in the women's 400 medley relay, in which she swam the breaststroke leg. Lily King currently has two world records that she set in the 2017 Aquatics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Her first world record is in the 100-meter breaststroke, and her second is in the 50-meter breaststroke. 
Another accomplished rights graduate is Matt Sanders. In 2011, he went all the way to state in bowling and brought home the singles state title. The following year, the whole rights bowling team won state. After high school, Sanders went to Marion University, where he was named a two-time All-American. Sanders then took his talents to the Professional Bowling Association, where he was so determined to do well that he earned his first PBA title at the Extra Frame Billy Hardwick Memorial Open. With his outstanding talents and abilities, Sanders is sure to continue to make a name for himself in the world of professional bowling. However, there is more to rights than just sports. Wright's theater and music programs are forces to be reckoned with. Two shows really stood out during this time period, and one of them was The King and I. What made this show great was just how well the costumes, casting, and props all came together. Another good show from this period was Noise is Off, which was challenging to perform because it was a show within a show, and the size of the cast was very, very small. This meant that the cast had more lines to memorize, and each cast member had much more individual responsibilities. In the past decade, the Wright's marching band has really displayed how much hard work pays off, which has been a constant even with the changing between several band directors. In 2010, band director Taylor Criswell was replaced by Will Schulze. Schulze was then replaced in 2015 by John Miller. With guidance from Miller, the band paved their way all the way to the Indiana State School Music Association State Finals for the first time in 17 years, where they placed seventh with their performance, Red Tango. They continued their phenomenal work in 2017 with the new band director, Alex Grimm, under whose direction they went to state finals again and they placed ninth in Class B with their performance, Under a Darkened Sky. While students at Wrights lived out their daily lives, Worldly events continued to flood the news, including the death of Osama bin Laden in 2011, the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in 2012, the presidential election of 2016, and the Las Vegas shooting of 2017. Worldly events have not only shaped this time period, but also the students who lived through it. The tradition that is within Wrights High School is unlike any other, and in the 20-teens, students have added to that tradition in their own unique ways. During this decade, Wrights has seen some terrific students that have gone on to accomplish great things. As more and more generations walk the halls of Wrights, history continues to be made. The future is very bright for this West Side High School. This has been an F.J. Wright's Feel the History production.